So, okay, so we have our fighter plankton towers, which are really cool. It's like Fido, I would say heaven, but they'd be dead, and all the phytoplankton is absolutely alive. Yeah, it's all alive. Yeah. So explain what a phytoplankton is and uh, why you should feed it to your reef tank. So it's your, your microalgae. So when you're feeding it, your clams, your filter feeders, your corals. The biggest thing that we have is it's, we use it for pod food. Anyone that's trying to get a good population of pods, if you're trying to keep the mandarin or a scooter blenny, or your butterflies that need the pods, especially when they're new to your tank, to survive. If you're not dosing phyto, you can't get a good strong pod culture. You can pour 20,000 in there to feed it for a week, but if you are dosing phyto, you start with the pods in your tank, you put those in there, the correct species of pods, then they're gonna thrive on the phyto and give your tank a continuous source of food. And they also eat detritus. Oh, absolutely, which is great. Uh, so if you if you have a new tank and you want a mandarin and you're introducing pods, you absolutely have to pair that with Fido. Especially with everybody going to the dry rock to be Aptasia oh, and yeah. all the crazy stuff that can be in live rock. If you're doing dry rock, you, you have to see pods and you have to be putting Fido. Reference my feeding video on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys make sure to check out um, Michael's uh, a YouTube video on broadcast feeding. Uh, we definitely have a huge hunk of phytoplankton in that video, um, um, along with other things that, that we're feeding as well. Uh, awesome. So, um, so how, why would you feed phytoplankton to your coral? Your coral, it's just a natural food for it. All those little polyps, especially on your SPS, if you want that polyp extension, you know phyto when it's going to be getting the food that it finds. When you'll get the feeding reaction on your LPS corals. As soon as you feed a polyp, it's back for more, the feeders come out. It's the same way for your SPS, and that seems to be at the forums. Everybody says, look at my PE. Everybody wants that polyp extension. So yeah. if you want it, go swipe them. How big is your polyp extension? Comment below. <laughs> so tell me, um, uh, why, why is it that DTs uses several different strains in one bottle? You see a lot yeah. of different singular bottles of different strains. Why is there a mixture with DTs? Yeah, you get a slightly different micron size. So for your different filter feeders and different animals, we find it's just a more of a holistic solution to your reef. Instead of having to keep four different bottles of phyto in your tank, you can go with one. We do also sell starter cultures, where there are a lot of people breeding animals, especially like seahorses that need to be growing pods that only want, say, isocrisis algae, for example. We sell those starter cultures, and you Get those oh, nice. So it's the same premise is, you know, reconstituting a dry food, like a, a dried up dead food, but it's, it's alive. alive. <laughs> so, yeah, feeding live phytoplankton is definitely the way to go with your pods, with your coral. Uh, all together, it's, it's an absolute must. And it battles nuisance algae for nutrients. Absolutely. Now, that's that's a great benefit as well. Yeah, so our, our cultures, a lot of cultures say that they're live cultures because if it's 1% live, you can call it a live culture legally. Um, ours are sitting around 90 plus percent live once it goes through the filtering process. Wow. So once you're dosing it, those cells can reproduce in your tank. That's the other thing. I mean, you're giving an environment if you have phosphate, nitrate, all the things that we're battling constantly growing potato algae, things like that to fight, the phyto will use up those nutrients also reproducing your tank, giving your animals more food. Nice. That's good to know. Healthier corals. Healthier fat. Who wants a fat coral? If you want a fat coral, comment below. Tell me how fat you want your coral, because I know how to get it fat. You feed it. <laughs> a lot of 